So I actually met my founding team at a place called Singularity University. It's in California. It was an institute that was founded by companies like Genentech and Google. And it's based uh, on, a NASA, on a NASA base in California. And basically they bring together experts from around the world on different subjects over the summer and a lot of projects and companies are started uh, out of that context. So I had some experience both in doing biotech deals um, at Goldman Sachs in London and then in building a, a startup in Silicon Valley. So I had lived there for a number of years uh, and had raised money and, and dealt with that sort of world before. So we're in Germany where the first printing press was introduced to Europe and that really brought about an age of enlightenment. And similarly, I think in healthcare, We've got these amazing information technologies that are really coming of age at the moment that are, again, going to enable an age of enlightenment in healthcare if uh, we're able to bring that to fruition. And it'll have a huge impact, uh, make people's lives much healthier, save a lot of lives, in fact. Yeah, so basically, it's the combination of three things. We can start to measure the very fundamental information about our own health and our own disease. So that's things like genomics, transcriptomics, many other things. The second thing is that because the technologies are becoming much cheaper, we can start to track ourselves continuously, which means we can do a kind of surveillance where we're picking up signals that tell us, okay, it looks like you might have a problem. It looks like you might be developing cancer. Um, and thirdly, you know, we have the computational power to really analyze that massive amount of data. So it's the combination of these three trends, which means that information in health is really undergoing a revolution. So we need to think about how we encrypt that data, we need to think about how we regulate the use of that data, and we need to make sure that private interests and fear don't stop us from making use of that data. Because we have the, the potential to prevent disease, we have the potential to discover new drugs. So it'd be a real shame if we miss that opportunity as a society. So we've got some great data behind us. We've got a great team of scientists for working with Johnson & Johnson Innovation, building our prototype. And uh, we hope to really get the system into the market as soon as possible.